All right. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the first night of Murder Month. I know what you're thinking. Don't we usually do Zombie Go Month during the month of October? And yes, you are quite right, we usually do. However, I have looked over hundreds of games the last couple of weeks, and these stupid professionals just keep killing things and it stays dead. They're not really, uh, not really cooperative with my whole theme here, but that's quite okay because we're going to switch directions here and decide to look at the games where the most amount of things stay dead. We're going to look at those happy, lovely little murderers on the Go board and appreciate the art that they employ. First game up is a Li Cheng Ho game, and you might say, okay, yeah, sure, Li Cheng Ho's been a bit more aggressive nowadays than he has been in years past, but you would be wrong, because this is a game from 2005 versus a Korean player whose rank, unfortunately, I do not have. Uh, this is straight out of my own uh, personal collection of games. I think it's even a game that I've gone over on a board of some kind before. So it might be familiar to some of you who have seen all of my videos, but I think it's still a great game and it definitely fits the theme of Murder Month. So those of you who have not seen it, I hope you enjoy. I can tell you this is from the 10th Samsung Cup, round one. Things start as we always see them start with two top corners being taken, inviting anything and everything. Showing that they are down for whatever. Yes, that is a good point there, read like a book. It does mean that 2005 means we are not going to have early 3-3 invasions. That is, thank God for that. Could see Chinese here. Instead, we see a uh, pretty close Orthodox here instead. Now, this is also a game that is now showing its age. Because it's splitting this way, which we don't do nowadays. Because now we would go and approach, uh, approach, and then back off. So we don't usually uh, split here, but back in the day, like, 10 years ago, this is what we all thought was super standard. This is the way Go was played, boy, howdy, and if you didn't play this way, oh, we got on your case and we made you feel stupid. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the way things go anymore. Uh, now we do we do this, and if you split, <laughs> now you're feeling kind of stupid. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So we don't see that instead. What uh, black counter attacks or counters by also splitting? Something that we don't usually see very often either. But okay. always prioritizes when your opponent doesn't do that because you don't want to give him the option of let's say going back to this this is why we don't do this anymore by the way because this is pretty much all standard oops and at this point you have to ask yourself should one stone really develop the board to this extent because you can see this is developed, this is developed, that's developed, this is kind of going somewhere. Like, why? 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 There's got to be other things that we can do, right? There's got to be other things that we can do. And, you know, pros found other things you could do. Like, what if we just don't do any of that garbage and we just do that instead? That keeps the game open, keeps options available. Much, much... Uh, more interesting to watch a game like this, in my opinion, than to be able to predict 25 moves from that. From the 8th move, being able to predict 25, ouch. That's just ouch. But alright, here we got something going. We got a uh, player, Black, who is being a little bit uh, aggressive, splitting, approaching, ignoring, so he's like all on his terms. He's not reacting to his opponent. He's like, buddy, you got to react to me. So, all right. Here we go. Just settling with a nice strong shape. Look at the strong shape we're making nowadays. This is almost like a basic game in its own right, don't you think? Surely, 
Surely there's no death going to be involved in a basic game. I mean, what are the odds of that? <clears throat> mm. So we're just going to go ahead and settle here. Yes, this is a little bit low and uninteresting, but it is solid, so you got that going for you. The only downside, of course, is that uh, this, this, that, this, that one, uh, that over here. These, Yeah, these are all forcing moves to your opponent by virtue of the fact that you're playing low. So if your opponent is trying to find something that they can get done in the middle of the board with all of these forcing moves, usually they can find something because they've got like a plethora to choose from, which is why we usually don't uh, do that quite so much. But all right. We're just chilling. Look how look how chill this game is. Did I lie to all of you? Surely we're not going to see murdering on this board, right? But see, the games are often nice and calm until they aren't. So how do we make this game not calm anymore? Well, you usually have a player, for those of you aspiring murderers, uh, you usually find a way for your opponent to start feeling uncomfortable about what you're doing. Like right now, everything's low. We all got territory. We're all chilling. But what happens when your opponent starts to get greedy? Like, I'm going to get over to the seventh line? Hmm. That's starting to feel like maybe too much there. But all right, Li Cheng Ho decides to just chill. He's not going to Hane and do weird stuff. His opponent's taking complete advantage. He's going for all the influence as a result. Now we have an eighth line wall that has to be reduced. And whatever this garbage is, this is, this is not technically a live local. But we'll get into more of that later. If White had played away... You have to contemplate that there are things like this on a board. So locally, this is a dead shape you're capturing. So you have to be very, very careful on the outside and what goes where and how you try pushing uh, things like that. So White's like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna live. I'm a peaceful person. I don't kill people. See, I'm settling now. I'm, I'm settling, and I'm gonna play nice and lightly to reduce this area. Where would you play chat if you were playing nice and lightly to reduce? Nice, light, and peaceful. Because remember, we're Li Cheng Ho. We're not murderers. We're not murderers. Where do you play? So the obvious one to play, uh, believe it or not, is this one. Like you ignore me and I'm going straight down, right? Yeah, looking for K5. And then if you respond, then we get a wall here, and then we're strong, right? And, 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 if you play passive, right, then we're looking for things like this. Suddenly a huge wall developed out of nowhere while you're defending yourself, you're giving suddenly a lot to your opponent. So Black says, no, this is not how good to play, stupid, I'm going to attack you until you are dead. Not really. Usually when you attach the opponent, you don't expect them to die. That'd be crazy talk. Black says, can I can I come into your area? I mean, it, there's like a lot. It's, it's roomy here. Nice and spacious. The lighting's great. Um, faces the north end, which is my favorite. Black says, no, you can't. I will charge you severe rent if you continue trying to descend. So, okay, white leaves, go look for other places to live. Pretty big, pretty big wedge here. And then white plays elsewhere. Huh. He's going for a larger corner now. Getting rid of the 3 3 Aji. After doing a very, very light reduction. But doesn't this group look a little weak to you? Doesn't it? Looks a little sketchy, don't you think? Surely he's going to defend himself. He's going he's gonna to defend himself. But he doesn't. Li Cheng Ho, what are you doing? 
This group is... It's got no shape. It's just... There. So, the other Lee... Attacks. Clearly. Clearly he's going to try to kill this. Because, I mean... Why wouldn't you? Time to bend and escape. Alright, alright. So far it looks like it's going to run away. Not running away. It's going to fight back. Now it might run away? No, not going to run away. Looks like we're into Atari. And Atari. And it looks like we don't... Maybe make a, make a slight mistake? I mean, what's the point of this? It can run away now. We got fifth line territory, but now it's time to run away, right? White says, I'm going to connect by keeping you low. Black says, found your shape point. White says, well, I'm going to connect then. Black starts resisting. It's like, do you really want my stone? White says, yes, I do. Look at the size of that corner. That's a huge corner now, and that's huge too. But black... Black doesn't care about corners. Black cares about that middle group that you didn't defend. And the defenseless... The defenseless, well... They need, they need defense. They need defended. They absolutely need defended. It looks like we're being surrounded now. So we cut. Get in the Atari. <gasps> uh oh. Is Li Cheng Ho gonna let us live? Gonna let this uh, go in order to save the stones? He doesn't. He's keeping his corner. Which means black goes after the middle again. And then this move is brilliant. If we defend here. We could do this one, right? That's not Sente. And then it's like a Ko here, yeah? But Black plays here, so none of this works anymore. The stones were cut off. The stones are now dead in the middle of the board. They're dead, they're toast. In exchange for a couple of stones on the bottom of the board, this is all dead now. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what else happens on this board. Surely, Black's just gonna like defend himself now, make sure he's nice and strong, do a little bit of reduction, the game's gonna end. Right? Right, 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 right? Clearly. That's what you do when you take a lead. So he's defending himself. Good, good, good. Opponent's trying to attack, so we're just gonna defend that too. First we try to connect. Hmm. White's not attacking. White's not attacking. So black has sente. It bears mentioning right now that score estimator says with the death of those stones. Check this out. With the death of those stones, score estimator says that white is ahead by 20 points. Because the court because the territory here. The huge corner here, and if white gets this, then those stones didn't really matter. Wrap your head around that one. So black is going to make it matter. He's going to expand hugely. Because like we can keep this low, we can make this a big thing, and then we're good. So all right. That right there is territory. Now that just that just fell into Black's lap. Looking good. Taking his large corner for himself. No reductions there. So black white starts reducing. Black defends. Hmm. How odd. This dead group is trying to come back to life. How illogical, Captain. Don't worry. We've got cutting points. We'll be fine. 
Hmm. Still got the cutting points. We're fine. Hmm. All right. That's a bit of a reduction right there, because the three, the three stones, the three stones. So we're that's fine. We'll just we'll just bend. This connects. That connects. Disconnects. Sorry. And now we're fine again. Hmm. Is this starting to look kind of scary? Looking a little scary. Because it seems like we're being forced to capture these stones while White's attacking us. He's like the sacrifice master right now. Look at that. Look at this, look at this ugly shape. Atari, take. Laughs at his opponent's attempts to kill him. It's like you killed me in the center, but that only makes me stronger. <laughs> in the meantime, White picks up two dead stones for himself. Well, not quite dead, there's like Aji here, but you get the idea. And now he's playing to go into the center of the board. Or to uh, solidify the top of the board, sorry. This is an example of the Li Cheng Ho style, where you, you were after his stones. He gave you the stones you were looking for, but the territory still is not adding up. But it's okay, we got this. We're going to go in a deep, deep invasion. We're going to kill things. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. White connects. Again, seeing if we can come in. We're now being invited, so we're going to look for Aji. Looking for that Aji now. Where's that Aji? Where's that Aji? All of the forcing moves that exist on this planet are, co are being taken by Black. Back to back. Because he's going he's gonna to make a point. It's like, no, you, you can't just give me your stones. You can't just let me kill something. You can't just let me kill something and then just take territory and go tay and win. Whoever heard of that? Very. Whoever heard of that? That's just stupid. Black keeps the dead stones in, but it's okay. We got the three three. Now we're alive. We got the three three. We're alive now. It's okay. It's okay. We're alive. Oh, I got the corner. I got the corner. Big reduction. Big, big reduction. Way to go. Way to go. See? Alive, right? White asks the question. Alive, right? Get a forcing move in, then go back. Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're okay? Question mark? We are fine here, right? What do you think? Are we fine in the corner? Tough situation to be in, right? Ran Chinese is alive. Yeah, alive. Is that yeah, alive, alive. We 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 have to be alive. B seventeen. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm right. Right. Um. You ever have one of those moments in your game where you have ideas? You ever have one of those? I ever have one of those? I those moments in your game where you're like, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. I, this is gonna be great. This variation is. Oh my god! It's gonna be amazing. Like my stupid opponent thinks, I'm gonna take that stone. But what if I get rid of everything that he has? Just all of it, simultaneously. 
No, I'm not. I'm not going to connect here and live. Or, I'm sorry, no, no, that, that, that'd kill you. I'm not going to take this, because you can't connect here, right? I, I, I take you there. So instead, I'm going to get rid of all of it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just, we're just going to get rid of all of it. So black says, or white says, well, if you try and get rid of everything, I'm going to kill you. It's like, you can't. It's going to be glorious. You're going to have no territory. No territory anywhere. Because I've got an eye. White's like, uh-huh. You're dead. It's like, no. You can't keep in my genius. Behold, my genius. Um... Genius, uh, over here. Has no choice but to flail. And flail. He's got... A chance. It's got a chance, but we've got liberties now. Uh, now we've got that, and that's 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 bad. Uh, we can't start connecting because there's too much to fill. So that's bad as well. Um, yeah, all we can really do is resign now because we've been murdered on top of the board. To be fair, we've all, we've all been there. Black tried to play for fun, and then stupidly Chang Ho, who was all about giving you the stones that you were trying to, you know, go after, just killed us. Rude. Very rude. So anytime you've been in one of those games where you feel like a complete and utter moron because you did something colossally stupid when you could just live, or get out or whatever remember this game remember this game what was the score without this death uh let's see without this death we would have to do this one right go to unfortunately so the question is how how good is Li Cheng Ho's end game, right? That that's the question there. Unfortunately, Li Cheng Ho is ahead by a bit. Especially considering you might have things like this to keep growing the corner or the, the middle rather. But just a it's not frustrating to play against. Like he let you kill his stones and then that didn't happen. So we're going to switch gears. We're not going to look at someone who just lets you kill things. We're going to look at a we're going to look at a complete amazing player next. Who has been known to specialize in murdering things. And by that, Oops. Seriously? Okay, for the record, I did not plan on this. I didn't plan on what you're about to see. This actually was, this is actually a weird coincidence, just so you're all aware. We went over Lee game and Lee, right? Lee Cheng Ho and Lee... Um, I can't pronounce that. Now, check this out. Now we're going after, we're going to look over Lee and Lee. So we looked after, we looked over Lee and Lee, but now we're going to switch gears and look over Lee and Lee. All right, everyone following? That was a Lee and Lee game. Now we're looking at Lee and Lee. Glad, I'm glad you all understand.
So, opening up with 4 4. Opening up with 4 4. Opening up with 3 4. This is identical. Unfortunately, white broke it. All right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna have an orthodox variation out of. We have an orthodox variation out of Yisidol. We might, but not today. He's gonna get up all up in his opponent's face. Be like, "What do you want to do?" White's just like, "I'm just, I just, I just want territory, okay? I'm that's all I want." It's like, "Oh, okay. Look at territory. As much of it as humanly possible." But apparently. That is where Lee draws a line against Lee. And Lee decides to pincer Lee, forcing Lee to change direction and go in the corner. So we have this. Odd move here. Very, um... Very, very Japanese in my opinion, this particular move. We don't usually see the, the small knight up very often, but okay. Lee goes in the corner, Lee blocks, forcing Lee to connect. Lee threatens to cut through, so Lee says no. And voila, we get a cut. So Black got in the corner, and Gote got, back and got to go back and cut his stones. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's very good. Sai so wants in on this. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, if you are a player who specializes in killing others, uh, one, one tiny little thing that you probably want is Aji. So when your opponent plays this way, it's kind of like Christmas comes early. Because your stone isn't quite dead here, and your stones aren't quite dead here, so you can kind of decide like what we're going to do. First and foremost, whatever we do over here gives influence. Let's go ahead and close. Make sure they can't use influence to approach and build. Makes sense. Removes Aji. Now we've got like the side. Going back into a bit of a passive game now. Bit of a passive game. Nice and calm. And what is that? What is that? What is that, chat? What is this move doing? Yeah, we're going to attach and fight and try to gain something alpha style. It is pretty rude. Lee is like, no. No, Lee. You need to listen to me. I'm not going to let you just build that area. So you get into a fight. Ladders that don't work. But you can see by the back off, all Lee wants to do is force Lee to take the corner so that Lee can get influence in the in, in the in the middle. But that gives a lot of forcing moves to Lee. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze. We're gonna do squeeze and squeeze. Now here's a question for you folks. Let's see how many of you. Let's see how many of you are aggressive. Who wants to play here? You can admit it, we won't make fun of you. Who wants to play here? Anyone? Some of you are tempted. Especially in like faster games that you're playing in. Your opponent just plays something that doesn't even capture you. Not you. See, the problem with that... Like, you were probably after influence a while back, right? But, um... Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, about that influence? Um, hmm. Shit. Um... Uh, yeah, about the influence. You wanted influence, right? Yeah. 
That's, that's going to be a problem. This might be better, by the way. So, not cool. Not cool. Too much influence. Too much influence. So we're extending instead. Black's still pursuing, but we're going to go and fight right through him. Yeah, see? Now he's got cutting stone, cutting points that he's protecting and getting influence anyway. But at least we're getting in, we're getting, you know, corner, so that's good. But yeah, clearly, clearly, this deserves to be studied because the attachment here was to try and get that influence. And, um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, not that that didn't that didn't happen at all in any way, shape, or form. That is that is one fail. At least we got the territory, though. At least we got the territory. It's okay. Uh, plan B: shoulder hit. Attachments didn't go so well this time. We're gonna shoulder hit. It's gonna be grand. So, all right. Playing lightly. But now. Lee is not going to just be like the other Lee. This is the aggressive Lee. The rip your face off and wear it Lee. He's going to chase you. White's trying to run. Black's like, <laughs> I'll take fifth line territory. It's like, all right, we're going to attach for shape. Whoops. And whites and blacks, wait, no, actually that was the right answer, sorry. And blacks is like, I'm gonna ruin your shape. So now that's our shape. Trying to get some outside again. Huge amount of territory, denied for black. So it's time to counterattack. Don't you just love white shape? Challenge Bats to do 12 hour stream. Mm. Maybe on Monday. Maybe on the 30th. Maybe on the 30th. All right, so lovely shape, lovely shape. Got to try to jump out and run away. But look at all them points that Black is trying to get. Just chasing him right in that middle. But I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I hear you. Where where is all the killing? You said that Lee Seydol was a murderer. He's just trying to get fifth mine territory. Where, where's, where's all the rum gone? Essentially, is what we want to know right now. I mean, look at all the pokes going on right now. Are we just gonna sit here and take it? I think we are, cause see, he's, he's pretty well connected. Ah, oh, more reductions. What a dick. Look at how white just pushes in and tries to take leave black with nothing. Because one glorified corner is not going to be worth this, right? And now I know what you're thinking. It's like, okay, he's going to cut this off and he's going to die. No. Defense. Defense. How does anything die in this game? And now White's feeling good. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep killing you. So all right, now, now things are getting a little hectic. Everyone's like, all right, what are we doing? I'm gonna Tari first, right, good. Uh, put pressure on to make sure it's not in my corner, right, good. Just need more than three liberties to kill off these stones. Okay, good. 
Now look at that. Oh, look at that crawling on the second line. Lee, you've got to kill this fool, man. Oh, having to live locally? Lee's got to kill this guy, man. Lee has got to kill this guy. Going all in. It's like I'm leaving you with nothing. The only thing that you're going to get is second line territory on this board, and that's it. Let me tell you, when your opponent's doing that, you can't let him get away with that. You just can't. Time to poke at cutting at shape points. Forcing move. Removing Aji for eye shape. Trying to connect. Now that right there is a read. Ladies and gentle people. That right there is a read. Takes. Kills off the stones that were trying to kill him. And then White's just like, I don't care. I don't care. It's only six stones. It's only six stones. I'm, I'm taking all your territory away, Mr. Fifth Line. The fuck's the matter with you? You think you can do a fifth line territory? You can't do that. Are you a pro or are you 10Q? Fifth line territory doesn't exist. No wonder you lost to AlphaGo. Moves in to put pressure. It's like, yes. Struggle in my fifth line. It's so easy to live up there, right? It's like, yeah, I'm just going to turn. Turn where? I'm just going to turn here. Ah, oh, okay. Threatening to kill off the stone. Resisted. Shape acquired. Not so easy to live in my fifth line territory now, is it, punk? Still trying to live. Still trying to live. Still trying to live. Looks like we're okay now. But you know what? We were made stronger. And you only have one eye. You only have one eye. It's like, okay, I'm going to connect this way. Okay, okay. Looks like, uh, looks like we're out. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's great. We're out. We're safe. We may or may not be live in the corner, but that's that's fine. We're getting that fifth line territory again, because <laughs> you know when at first you don't succeed, try try again. Take that. That right there is a move. That right there is a move. New. Don't worry, a little bit of a co here. Threatening, you know, the life of these stones, the death of these stones, the running of these stones. Threatening to go in and reduce the territory. But black has other options in mind. Like, what, how, what Aji is here? Are you really connected there, sir? Do you know what you're fighting over? And White's like, yes, you can't convince me to kill off that stone. I know that you're after me. You want to be murdered, and it's not going to happen. OK. It's not going to happen. Whatever. Next threat would be here. Pretty good threat, too, I might add. This push up here. It forces like a take here, and then we can take that. So this kind of grows a bit. It's kind of interesting sequence there on the left hand side, on the bottom side of the board. So White's just like, you know what? Those are my stones too. Those are my stones too. Mm. 
moving to disconnect the shape here mr elephant eye we do not go to ko because now he's got exactly what he wants he's got this group struggling and struggling and struggling and now we have a sickening option. We can defend, but what about the other cut? Maybe we can get some Aji here? No? Maybe we can get something here? No? Maybe the cut'll work? There's gotta be a way out of this house. There's gotta be a way out of the house. I have to find it. I have to find it. Going for the only possible eye shape that white could have made. Enlarging his liberties to make certain there's no weird uh, capture race. Doesn't even care about the corner at this point. Like, yep, run right through there. I don't care. It's like, alright, time to leave then. But if you leave that group, what about what about the children upstairs? Aren't you going to go back for them? Have to, right? Have to. Have to go back for them. But trying to save them is making these cutting stones stronger. Surely that's not going to come back and be a problem. take. Now we're out again. Like, look at these little diagonals that he keeps having to play to escape. It's so bad. So, okay, okay. Huge move. This one is so, so strong. Can't push through here anymore. There's no clamp anymore. This can be falsified. That's a beautiful move right there. And now we're going to go and just cut that off. Looks like the top is kind of dying a little bit, maybe? So what? Black's going to escape to maximize his liberties because the top seems to be in trouble. It's like, all right, well, that means we need to make sure that this is not going to be a problem. And then we could, like, go through and clamp and do stuff and kill that, right? No. No, 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 no. This is, this is choice. What do you like better? You get, you get to choose what, who to save. The kids? Or, or, or this? It's like, well, uh, kids are more important. Gonna save those, because that would be instant death. We'll live somehow. Double Atari. Tries to escape. Double Atari. Looks like we're going to Ko, but not really, because we can connect, because there's nothing there. So this Atari we can answer. Now Double Atari, so we connect. Try and loosen large at the bottom. Now black's just gonna sink on in. See if you can reduce. That's a double Atari. Get to back off. Reducing the left hand side. Trying to connect up. Can connect and then take the stone. Can go after the five. Has to back off there too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lot of Aji here. Lot of Aji here. Black's not done yet.
Time to see if White can save these stones now. They're in a little bit of trouble too. So we're a little bit of a co here. Black's threat. White's like, I don't care. Back to being threatening. Trying to live. Denied. Oops. And now we have a problem, chat. Small problem, chat. That's threatening to kill off the upper right-hand corner. Too many threats. Too many threats. Can't do anything but resign. There's nothing we can do. Couldn't take the bottom. The upper right's about to die. The middle died. The lower right uh, ish stones over in here got killed. Did have to get our own stones uh, killed in the process. But it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. So there's pretty much no territory here that doesn't have dead stones in it. These have dead stones in it. This has dead stones in it. Dead stones in it. Dead stones in it. A lot of dead stones in it. More dead stones in it. Like everything has at least some dead stones on the board. And that is the beauty of a Lisa Dill game. This was played very recently, back in uh, sep last month, I want to say, I think. I think so. I don't know where that comes from. What is the estimator say the score? I don't think the estimator can count this game, can it? It can! Oh god, it killed off the upper right hand corner, so it says black by 75 points. Oh dear. So yeah, white has to resign. There's no chance. Everything that they tried to do got killed. So sad. Yeah, black by a few. One or two. One or two points. Now, I'm not going to do just Lee Seidel games uh, this month. Don't worry. There are plenty more, uh, some of my players you might not be aware of. But I'm trying to do two games uh, per lecture. Uh, some of the bloodiest games that I've seen played this year. So I hope you enjoy uh, that throughout this wonderful murder month of October. See you next time.